That office is 320 and letter A. Got it. The 320A for Dr. A. Uh, for your application, I suggest the sooner the better. The deadline is Monday. Yes? What kind of trip? What kind of trip? No. Uh, so we'll be going down on a bus on Wednesday evening. During the day on Thursday, we'll be visiting A.O. Smith. During the day on Friday, we'll be visiting Louisiana Pacific. There, we will hear from companies what they have to say to us. Uh, we'll have some presentations to them. Uh, companies are talking about doing on-site interviews for jobs and internships. So there will be a job opportunity there on the spot. Okay, I I've just joined now, so can I go? You have to apply. Okay. So yes, if you have joined, once you complete your registration, your payment, you have to fill out your application, okay. and then there'll be a selection process. Okay. So, um, and none, no member of the SMBC News Group is affiliated whatsoever with the selection process. That is strictly the professor's choice. So. Any other questions on the topic of the spring trip? Wonderful. Oh, hey, okay. Yes. So do we need to bring our business profession skills? To what? Um, for the we'll talk about the, the trip. Yeah. That's the a long way out. We'll okay. Um, our payment and registration deadline is this Friday. So if you've not paid or registered, please come to us afterward. So we make sure we get that link if you have not already done so. We do now accept online payment, so please take advantage of that. It's much easier for us. I'm sure it's much easier for you. Um, so, and uh, next Wednesday, we'll more than likely be continuing this lesson on, uh, not this specifically, but more details related to it. And uh, then last spring break. So. All right, so first we'll be covering organization data, master data, and then MRP. A lot of this is best described through the sales and distribution. So first, we'll go with the oh, we'll go with the organizational structure of materials management and sales and distribution. We start with the highest level organization, which is the client. Many of you know, where the global data is kept. Below that is our company code, which is the largest or highest form of a complete set of books or a legal set of accounting. Below that, the plan and subsections of the plan are someone said, storage locations. All right. So now, MRP or MRP material master data consists of the basic data view, um, and that the basic data view is kept at the client level. That's all the global information regarding material. That is something that is kept universal throughout the company, so it's limited just to things such as weight and measurements of the, the item itself. That, so that's set globally only at one time, so there's only one version of that measurement to so standardize across the entire company. All other views that are from Material Master are kept at the plant level, so that is the only view that is kept at the client level. General data such as, oh sorry, I that. And then the material type is also a segment of the, the NASA data associated with the material. And material type determines the views that are available to you as a user. That is from what all different types of materials contain different types of information that are related to it. You don't keep the same amount of same information for each material if they're vastly different from one another. Um, that also it can include that a material type also determines if it's internally or externally procured. It means whether or not we buy it from outside company and bring it into us, or we produce it ourselves. It also determines the account category reference and quantity and value updating. And also it does include in the material master all the information needed for MRP. Next is our bill of materials. The bill of materials is Everything that goes inside making a product from start to finish, all the components that go into it. So if I'm building a bicycle, no, I would, for bill of materials, I would have tires, handles,
these are just, we'll call these the four main things that we would need for our bike. And this would be our build materials. Our status would determine what applications are active during the MRP, or what applications it is associated with such as MRP. And our base quantity <coughs> is the amount of finished goods that would come from the amount of products in the build materials. So if our base quantity is five, that means we produce five bikes with the quantity we would have of these materials. <coughs> items such as, are, there are four main types of items that are associated with the build materials. Stock items, that is the we're kept in stock, obviously. Non-stock items, which are not directly assigned to the warehouse system. Variable sized uh, materials, and that could be things such as sheet metal. Sheet metal is not in one quantity, but you take stamps of that material and bring that into your product to create it. So that is this is another type of material. As well as documentation items. Documentation items are items that are documentation that may be needed for assembly, which can include drawings of the product or instructions, things like that associated with the creation of the product. So there are different types of bill of materials. This would be a single level bill of material, but we would break it down into many different structures beneath. For tires below that, we may have spokes, a rim, inner tube, and a tire. This is a multi-level bill of materials in which we have a overall product broken down into much smaller products, which again, in turn, is what's needed to build the bike. Next is a routing. A routing is everything, is the, the steps that it ta a material takes to be constructed into the product. It explains all the operations, the sequence in which they are, the steps that are necessary. It also has the work centers that are used to create the product are in the routers. So <coughs> we have one workstation here that a work center that here that creates the tires that is responsible for that. A routing in, with the bill of materials describes production. Simple as that. A bill of materials includes all the product, the items that are necessary, all the materials that go into a finished product, and the routing determines all the steps and resources that are necessary to create that product. So, like I said before, production resources are assigned to this, the process in the routing. So specific workers, things like that, uh, machines. A work center ultimately describes where the work takes place. A work center is a specific geographic, geographic location in a plant. It is a physical area where work takes place. So going on to MRP, what is MRP? It looks at what our supply is and where our, what our demand is. And the difference between the two is creates what could be either a planned order or a production order. First order. Thank you. But so the supply is determined by inventory, our first orders, and our production orders. And that is pushed against the what is forecasting, sales from the future, our safety stock levels, current custom orders, and other orders that are manually entered into the system. So if you have a uh, thousand units in your supply, but you have uh, 500 <laughs> units forecasted, 400 safety stock, 300 customer orders, and another 400 in manual entry. MRP runs and shows 600 units that need to be created or ordered. And that is how MRP runs is what it is in a basic sense. There are three different types of MRP pro processing. Uh, the first is NETCH. That's the planning of all materials. All levels of your bill of materials from start to finish. Everything that you need to create a product. The NATPL is planning for the or planning for the planning horizon. <laughs> that would be uh, planning for different materials within a specific period of time in the future. So if you're forecasting only within a few months, it would be limited to that amount of time. Your NEUPL is regenerative planning. 
Now this is done on very rare occasions. It's done when you might first initially open a plant and they're doing running MRP to stock their plant fully when they don't have materials. It's ran on a very rare occasion. <coughs> so going off the MRP cycle, we have aggregate historical data, we have the forecast of future demand and products, and together that gives our planned independent requirements. Our planning requires or what our demand is when we look at that, and that's what's compared against our supply. At that point in time, consumption is possible when we, if we are creating the process, creating the product, and then we can continue with our sales orders. Questions and answers. We have a few questions for you at the end here. I'm sorry if I went too fast. Is there anything you'd like to go back over? Please let me know. I'd be happy to readdress it. Um, but after this question and answer, we'll have some multiple choice questions for all of you to answer. <laughs> yes. Um, let's go back over to the MRP processing side. Yes, yeah, so that is uh, something that I am not exactly an expert on, but I, I can bring more information on that topic next week. That's um, not the scene again. That's not. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, you also should have the PowerPoint in your emails. We tried to get it out early this week so that you'd be able to take notes on it. Uh, we hope to get that happen in the future of you know, getting the PowerPoint out to all of you before we implement it. There are no student questions. We're here to try to help you out as much as we can, preparing for the chart 10. 
Uh, so questions you have, maybe a lot of other people have, they would also benefit from you asking them. So in the future, if there's anything you would like to ask, feel free to email any of us. So, uh, first multiple choice question. If material time determines all the following things except, do we have some answers? Come on. There's one. Is it me? There we go. I wish I had some candy to give out, but I don't. Just pizza. She is right. Uh, the only thing that material type does not determine is the storage location. It does, however, uh, determine the internal or external procurement, the count category reference, quantity and value updating, and the views that are available. Is mandatory for material to have this many views? Oh, what do you mean one at least? You are correct. There's one. A view, or a material could have many different views, but it's only necessary to have one view. What's that one view that's necessary to have? The basic data view. As far as I know, don't. Well, that's like the very first one at the views menu. Is that one like at the top though? I'm going to have to look into that. Good no, question. Okay. That's a good question. Just curious. Yeah. 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 Let me uh, yeah. 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 I don't know how to answer that because I don't know the answer, so I'll come back next week hopefully with the correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is a true or false question. Regenerative planning is usually done on a daily and a daily basis and is focused on net change for planned materials. It is false. The regenerative planning is done very rarely and focused on the whole inventory. Master data that is relevant to standard sales and distribution include. There's more than one answer in it. I would say A, B, and C. Do we have any agrees? Yes. I say A, C, D. All right. It is A, C, D. Um, the only reason our, our vendor was not necessary for our sales distribution um, because when we were in sales and distribution, we were only concerned with our customers. Uh, during our procurement, when we buy things, our vendors are very important, but uh, during sales and distribution, we tend not to focus on ourselves. A cost center named IT moves labor costs through the activity type labor one into engineering, what cost will show up in engineering?
I like the effort. I do like the effort. <laughs> that was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. All right. That's a distribution channel and sales organization. You were close. All right. Yes. That is the kind of question I these are not specific questions that are on the test. We don't have access to those things. These are things just that highlight some of the concepts and information that we are trying to give out to our students. Um, it's highly likely to let well, you won't have a total blank question. They hold the right to, but you probably won't. Okay, bomb. The base quantity is the amount of raw materials needed to produce one finished product. Alright. That is false. So the base quantity can be more than one. If you're making a different thing, I mean, you could have all the different base quantities. Alright. A chart of accounts is. A, a listing of all available GL accounts. B, assigned to one and only one company code. And C, available for more than one company code to use. There's more than one answer? There is. We got A and C over here. And A and C it is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for your time this evening. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, again, registration deadline is, and payment is this Friday. National trip deadline for applications is Monday. So please do, feel free and do not hesitate to come ask questions. Wait. Do you have to pay the money up front for the trip now? Or is that no, we will be. The, good question. <laughs> the payment for the trip will not be due until we determine who goes. Okay. So there are a limited amount of spots on the trip. Uh, because of the limitations for companies and the money itself. Um, so there will be, that's why there's an application process this year. In years past, we have not had that, and that's because we have to be a little bit selective. Um, so please put in your applications. We at least want to make sure we fill it. Uh, yes. How many seats do you have available for the trip? That is still easy. Not perfectly determined as well. Uh, I believe 21. It could, it could be more. Uh, we're still working on that. Yes. If we have less than the amount of seats that we have available, then we will only take that amount. I hope that's not the case because I'd like for as many people as possible to go on this. Uh, it should be a great time. I'm oh, sorry. What companies are they A.O. Smith and Louisiana Pacific. Very large manufacturing company. I mean, a brewery? Uh, I would like to, uh, but that is not yet determined either. So we're still in some of the planning phases, figuring out itineraries as to what we'll be doing down there. Um, so there's still a lot of information yet to come on the trip. Um, besides the, the two company visits, those are the only things we're set to Ooh, now that's a good one there. I like your ideas. I really do. I He's coming. Like All right, is there anything else? Good. All right, have a great evening. Get on the stage.